hello guys welcome back in this video we will explore how to use infinite scroll we will see how we can render the content inside our scroll so that when user reaches to the bottom we show loading and uh, fetch the data and keeps on fetching and once all of the data is fetched from the server or somewhere we show that you are all set so let's get started i have an empty react.js project that's showing nothing right now for the infinite scroll we will be using react infinite scroll component npm package and to install that this is the command let's copy it and install in our project once that is installed we can go ahead and import infinite scroll from react infinite scroll component and start using it so it will be infinite scroll and inside that uh, we will be rendering our uh, content so for that we, maybe we can uh, use a state and uh, add some array content in that so that we can loop on that and uh, add some uh, content that is scrollable so let's add a state maybe we can say data source and set data source is equal to use state and by default it may maybe empty or uh, we can uh, create a few elements uh, using an array maybe we can create uh, around 20 elements in in that array and here in inside the infinite scroll we can loop on that so we can say data source dot map and it will be giving us the item and the index and we can return anything here so for the simplicity let us turn the div and inside that maybe we can say this is our div number maybe index let us add index, uh, index plus 1 uh, because index will start from 0 so we will be saying that this is a div number 1 2 3 so it will start from the number 1 this is a div number 1 inside infinite scroll ok let us save it and let us go back to our app ok so infinite scroll need a uh, data length so we can say data it is data length is equal to data source dot length save it here you go it has added uh, the divs let us add some styling on that to look it a little bit good so we can add a style let us add the style at the top uh, so we can say style maybe we can add a border and it could be one pixel solid with a green color and let us add the style to here save it so butter has been added let us add uh, some margin maybe 12 pixel ok let us add a little padding as well so again maybe 8 pixel is enough here you go so we have uh, around 20 records so d1 to 20 so right now i am scrolling and it's uh, not adding other contents or it's not uh, right now an infinite scroll so let's add few more props in the infinite scroll component so that is uh, the next that will be called when we we need to when a user has reaches to the end of the score and it will call th our this function and here we will be adding uh, more content in uh, inside our state so we can say fetch more data and let's define it we can say const fetch more data so here uh, actually uh, what we will be doing is we will be making api calls to our uh, servers 
based on the pagination or something like that so on the first page we are fetching 20 records and on the next page we are again fetching fetching next 20 records so based on that we will be making the api calls here uh, but uh, right now to mimic the behavior so let's do that using uh, the timeout maybe you can say after 500 milliseconds uh, suppose we made an api call and the data is uh, there so here we will be setting the data source or we can say updating the data, data source so what we will be doing is we can say data source dot uh, concat some new records so we can again say read dot from and uh, length of 20 so here what we are doing is so as soon as user will reaches uh, to the bottom they will call us the fetch more data function so inside that we are waiting for the 500 milliseconds and after that we are updating the uh, data source so that it will increase uh, the the data length or the content inside the infinite scroll also uh, there is another prop uh, to make the api calls that is has more so we need to set it, it true uh, to uh, to tell the infinite scroll that we have some more data so tell us when the user is on the bottom so uh, for that we can again use a state you can say has more and set has more has more is equal to use state but for we set it true we know that we have some more data inside that and here we have to write the has more refresh so now if i uh, going to the down it is adding more more records right now so when when uh, you are going uh, to the down so we can show the loading indicator that as well so that will be inside the loader prop so here we can return any react component so for simplicity we can return uh, a p tag saying loading if i save it refresh so as soon as i am uh, reaches to the bottom of the scroll it shows loading and then after 500 millisecond it added more records right so this is how the the finite scroll works and if suppose uh, uh, at the end we want to say that uh, we are all set or we have fetched all of the data uh, that was available so we can do that as well uh, for that we need to set the has more to false so that when it reaches to the uh, user reaches to the bottom so it does not uh, uh, fetch for, uh, ask for the more data right so let's mimic that behavior as well so here we can say if uh, the data source dot uh, length is maybe if it is less than 200 then do this one and in else uh, set has more to be false right so it will make uh, the, uh, the 200 records and after that it will say that uh, we do not have more data right so let me refresh so 40 records 60 80 and going on up to 200 so after 200 it is not it is not fetching so if you want to say something one, uh, once all of the data is uh, fetched or shown to the user we can uh, give an end message to the user so here again we can uh, return any react component so for now let's again use the p tag we can say uh, you are all set save it refresh so 40 60 80 100 and you are all set right so now after that if i even scroll it does not make an api call and your url set is shown right so this is how uh, we add the infinite scroll 
so if, if we have limited data uh, we can uh, add a has more uh, value to true or false and it will stop fetching more data but if we have both infinite data then it will be always be true and it will be, it will be fetching data fetching fetching uh, infinitely right and and in some cases was uh, right now it's it's scrolling uh, the whole page if for some cases we have to uh, do the this in a little div inside a div so suppose we have some title on on the top and some footer on the bottom and we need to do that inside a little div we can do that as well so let's add a p tag and here we can uh, give our title maybe in final scroll tutorial and maybe we can make it bold save it so title in final scroll tutorial and right now it's still uh, scrolling all the way and in the infinite scroll uh, we can uh, give it a height so suppose i give it a height of 500 pixels so if i save it so it is now uh, inside the 500 uh, height div it is scrolling uh, there so this infinite scroll tutorial title is still there and there are some space on the bottom as well so we can show footer or something on the bottom so loading loading and once it reaches the 200 uh, it will show you are all set right or in some cases uh, suppose we have a, a parent div so we want that whatever the height of the parent div is uh, scroll inside that we can do that as well so suppose we have a div and inside that we have the infinite scroll and for that we can give it a style uh, we can say its height is again 500 and its overflow is auto and we can comment over this one and uh, for this day we can give it an id and maybe we can say parent scroll div right and here uh, we have to uh, tell that this is the uh, your scrollable target so scroll in uh, based on the height of this div save it refresh so it will be doing the same so we are not defining the height here instead we are we have defined the height inside the parent div so whatever the uh, the div the height of the parent div is it will scroll uh, inside that so if i decrease that to 400 so yeah, it should behave inside the 400 so that's it on exploring the infinite scroll we have learned how we can add the content inside the infinite scroll and how we fetch uh, the more data once the user is reaches to the bottom and how we can show the loading while it's loading the data and at the end we show uh, once uh, we have uh, loaded all of this data right but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you